Alright, so where did we leave off? I think uh, we just finished that puzzle. Um, I promised to talk more. Um, I wanted to go back to this house because I thought there was something I missed. All of a sudden occurred to me. There's this big old box here. Yeah, that's it. Would you look at that? There's a bunch of puzzles here that I've done nothing about. Let's fix that. Oh, these are fascinating. this now? Something else. Okay. So these I totally did not see at all. Um, and you know what? Hold on a second. There were other things I wanted to do here. I wanted to see if I could get this controlled with my GameCube controller. And yes. Yes, I said that. Alas, there's no way to set it up. Um, that's pretty. Right. So, I was going to explain myself a little bit here in terms of intuition and puzzle solving. So, when I say you rule out every possibility, um, I mean, th these puzzles aren't really... There's not really possibilities. These are simple mazes, um, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I literally just have to solve a maze here. Uh, let's go straight down for this and then over that way. Uh. Okay, the distortion I'm not really a big fan of. What's the point of the distortion? Isn't that the same puzzle? Alright, let's see what's over here. Ooh, along the cliff. I don't think this is where I was going to end up initially. But I'm not complaining. Right. So this might be a better example, even though this is a simple puzzle. So rule out every possibility, right? But intuition comes in where y which possibilities you choose first, right? Um, and that's a little bit like, I don't know, so sometimes it's mind games, right? Like you want to be like, hey, the obvious thing is to go for the most hexagons first. Um, and I'm probably going to be punished for that, so I'll bet I shouldn't go for the most hexagons first, so I'm not going to go straight down that way. And while I was talking about that, I just realized what the solution to this is, so just do it. Oops, see daisies. Um, but other times it's like quickly ruling out things based on... Oh, that needs to be powered. sequence of puzzles here. Are any of them powered? Is that the start? That looks like the start. Do I gotta work my way all the way down first? Oh, there's one here. Alright, so these, this looks like a symmetric one again. Which one... Is that a different colored hexagon, or am I just... Is it just because it's slightly transparent? I think it's just because it's slightly transparent and I'm seeing the sky. Right. So, um, kind of an obvious puzzle here. 
And this one's slightly less obvious, but really not. Let's find a complicated puzzle to talk about this with. Um, not that many choices here either, really just have to... Oh, wait a second. Okay. I've been bamboozled. So let's go all the way around, then take this, and then go up this way, and go around and back. I should have gone back and explained. Okay. This should take some mind bending, or maybe actually not. I don't know. So let's see. I'm actually going to go around like that, take that, and then take... Oh wait, hold on. That's inconvenient, isn't it? Okay. Watching someone else solve puzzles, isn't it just so exciting? Let's go for something non-intuitive here. Hmm, I can't do that. I can't do that because when I come up this way and take that hexagon, I can't take that other hexagon. I don't know if it's worth explaining my thought process through this. Okay. I'm missing something. This has thrown off my intuition, which means it's time to start trying every possibility. Well, so let's do this systematically. I'll start over here. I've already walled myself. Okay, so see this interesting thing? This solution where any solution where I start going upward from this does not work because I immediately wall myself off from the solution, which already rules out a third of my possibilities, give or take. So I don't want to do this either because, again, I've walled myself off from getting back to the solution. And I've walled myself off from getting this hexagon here. Um, Which means I don't want to take the solution again, I think, so I've walled myself off. That was one of the possibilities I supposedly eliminated. So let's try... oh, I can't... Now I've walled myself off from getting this hexagon here. So let's try going down first. And there we go. Systematically ruled out. The top option was easy to rule out. That one was a little bit harder to rule out. And then I found the solution. So this is, I think, a little bit applicable to real life situations. Um, I can't talk while Why? What was the point of this puzzle? That was a dumb puzzle. Okay. Um, I think that philosophy is a little bit applicable to real life situations. Um, in fact, it's a little bit applicable to kind of the philosophy that I've had to develop as son of a gun. Another layer of complexity to this. Um, in medical school, one of the things you do want to do is rule out every possibility, right? When you're finding someone, when you're figuring out why somebody's sick. But fact of the matter is, there's some things that are a lot more common than others. And developing an intuition for that 
what should I look for first? What kind of solutions should I look for first? Is... It's part of what makes you efficient at solving puzzles. What did I miss here? Oh. Well, how about that? I'm guessing the black hexagons can be taken by any color. And that puzzle is just teaching me that that's the case. Okay, so I need to go for that one last. Oh, you know, I just noticed that I do actually have two options and that the color depends on where I click. Okay, so here, I don't want to go with the blue one here, I think, um, because, well, it's easy to rule out, so let's rule it out. That's another thing. Um, if I come by and take any of the hexagons with the blue one, I always wall myself off from getting the yellow hexagon. So. I think it's easy to rule out, and I can't go down because I immediately cover the wrong hexagon. So I can immediately rule out putting the blue guy there on this puzzle. Um, so let's instead... I can't do this because I immediately wall myself off from ever solving anything. Even coming down this way is risky because I'm probably going to wall myself off from a lot of things. In fact, I've already walled myself off from taking... Eh, I can't show you that hexagon right there that the yellow guy is covering up. So, this is not the solution. Let's try going... I can't go this way first, because then I'll never get that yellow hexagon. Uh, that's not actually true, is it? Close, but no cigar. Um, I didn't manage to get this hexagon over there. Okay. So now I could try just looping all the way around, right? Nope, sorry. I can't go that way to start, like I said, because I'll never get this yellow hexagon that the yellow guy's covering up. Not the solution. Well, that was actually... There we go. Silly me. Blue and yellow coming out, huh? What could it mean? Okay, the one I click on turns blue, right? It's textured differently here. When I click.
Leprechaun turns blue. Oh wait, are those the only two ending points? Hmm. I'm not explaining myself right now, but that's... That's okay, right? That's another thing that I struggle with, explaining my thought process. What is the point of this puzzle? Why is the yellow slowly fading away here? Is there something else I have to do? Am I missing something? Okay, so the yellow's completely faded away. But it was inconsistent here. Because some of them went symmetrically, and some of them took the... Meaning, some of them were mirror image movement, and the other ones were... Um, rotated 180 degrees movement. And I don't remember there being a clear pattern to that. This one is rotated 180 degrees, 180 degrees, 180 degrees, mirrored. mirrored. I'm going to assume that this is also mirrored. But no, you know what? It's probably based on the endpoints. So yeah, you'd never get to the endpoints if this was mirrored. That means that this is 180 degrees. So let's just kind of track this in our heads. There we go. That actually took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out. Okay, so the yellow is fading away to purposefully make this harder. Got it. Did I not get the yellow? Oh, I did not get the yellow. Uh, I want to go all the way up here. And then go here, and then go like this. Eey. I swear to Grop, what's the... <sighs> Why would you make me do this? Okay. I mean, these aren't even hard puzzles. That's the worst part. It's just making me remember where the yellow one is in my head. Oh, hey. Looks like we've activated this puzzle over here. Ooh, what's this? What is this? Another big box. That's a much bigger box than the last box I opened. Let's do this. Okay, what does that mean? Not a freaking clue. Let's see, is that a mirror image of that? It is. Oh, don't make me remember the solution to this. All right, let's fix that image in our heads. Up, over, down, around, squiggly snake. Up, over, down, around, squiggly snake. Jeez. Ah. Uh, visual memory. What am I doing here? Okay. Ah, uh, whoops. It is, is. Well, at least, at least, 
Lucy well, did me the courtesy of making that a symmetric pattern, which I'm still forgetting. Uh, easy peasy. There we go. This one looks like it could be more complicated. Okay, a couple of rules that we established with that earlier hexagon puzzle. You can't start at this spot because you can't come through and get a second hexagon. You can't start at this spot because you can't also can't come through the corner and get the second hexagon or the spot. So immediately we've ruled out three of the possible starting spots. How convenient. And it's another mostly symmetric pattern. I go down first. Did I screw that up? Son of a gun. Um, what did I do? Oh man, what did I do? Oh no! That's no fun. That puzzle's gone. The puzzle's just totally gone. I didn't deactivate all of these guys. It's not like I have to do those again. I did do that right. I did do that correctly, right? Frightening. Okay. I don't understand that. I don't understand. I was pretty sure I did that right. Remove the puzzle altogether. That... that is puzzling. Ooh, okay. It's nice to see this game mess with my head a little bit. Not just all straightforward puzzles, huh? I just still can't get over how pretty this game is. It's gorgeous. Well, that's probably enough for today. Let's find a pretty spot to stop at. It's always looking the water. Always overlooking the water. Um, you know what? No, I'm not stopping yet. Ha! Psych you out. Um, let's see. I can't get down this way. All right. did solve all of these. I guess this box really didn't serve a purpose. Where does this wire go? Okay, here's the cliff path. I should actually remember where this is. I just activated this door. That's kind of lame. Oh, I am allowed to resolve a puzzle. Okay. Um up first. Oops, daisies. Okay. Thank goodness I can reactivate it. All right, back to this. Let's solve it again, just for kicks. Um, which way did we go for this again? Over, up. Hmm. I think 
I'm starting to understand why I screwed this one up. The ending position is in a different spot, so is it not just mirrored horizontally? It's also mirrored vertically. Let's find out. Yes, it is. Son of a gun. Why would you do that? Let's open this box. It's probably going to be another puzzle inside, right? That's the way this game works. Reward for solving puzzles is more puzzles. That looks like Bastion. And I'm not just saying that because it's a big rectangle with an eye-like structure on yes side. That's why I'm saying it. Um, hmm. I really hope that's like a death laser that comes down and kills me. Could use some excitement in this game. No? No it's not. It's just... It's just... Oh, it's still going. It is a death laser, but it's... Ooh, okay. That's cool. Now that's 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 a good time to stop. This game is really pretty. I've said that before. Let's pop on down here. It's kind of a shame that death laser isn't aiming at me, don't you think? There's more puzzles down here that I haven't gotten to. But we can get to them next time. I don't think I figured out the path down there. That was the problem. How do I get down there? That's how I get down here. Alright. Ooh, can I step on this water? It's water I can actually step on. I always want to wade in the water. Right. That's enough for today, then. Catch you next time, you lovable nerds.